What's up, YouTube? Did a short video for Kamani McClain cost him his future, especially since he didn't want to play for clicks and he took shots at Coach Prime's program? Guys, this has happened. It backfired on Kamani McClain. And I want to read an article from sportsillustrated.com. Guys, I'm Corey, and welcome to my channel. Let's talk with Corey. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Carmody McLean finding out the hard way after multiple schools reportedly not pursuing. Now, as you recall, Carmody McLean decided to jump in the transfer portal. But before he jumped in the transfer portal, he decided to take shots at Coach Prime's program. Basically, it's a character issue. Uh, Carmody McLean, former five star, reportedly struck a nerve with other programs. Hey, guys, there's no surprise. You know, imagine if he would have did it this way. I would like to thank my coaches and the staff and the university for an opportunity here at Colorado. I just decided to take my talents elsewhere, but I'm very thankful for the opportunities that were provided to me here at Colorado. Now, guys, now if he'd have done it that way, you're bowing out. You're also giving thanks to the program that gave you an opportunity, but that did not happen, guys. That is just an example of what should have taken place. And that'd be a message to other young athletes. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with seeking opportunities elsewhere. And like I said in the last video, hey, that transfer portal is wide open. And young players hit it for all kinds of reasons. Whether they're chasing the bag or the next championship or hell, feel like they could be great elsewhere. And in this particular case, Carmody McClain decided to figure out that he could be great elsewhere and he didn't want to play for clicks. But let me continue. Kamani McClain wants to find the next football home, but is having difficulties with the process. The former Colorado Buffaloes five-star defender who recently entered the transfer portal isn't getting the buzz he expected. And guys, you know why? It's because of that video. Because everyone knows, and if you're an athlete or you're close to sports, you know that if you come out and you're on social media and you're saying wild and crazy stuff online or taking shots at a program that you're leaving, coaches look at that stuff. It says several programs are reluctant, in quotation marks, to pursue McLean. According to 247 Sports reporter Mac Zenitz, while the Lakeland, Florida native is one of the most talented players available. There is a lot of smoke surrounding him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of smoke, unfortunately. Says after report from Zenitz, uh, Buffs Beat reached out to, uh, to recruiters from three Power 5 programs to inquire about McLean. One of them said they initially had interest until discovering a couple of red flags that prompted a change in direction. Another said Carmani is actually hard to find and wouldn't comment beyond the initial statement. The third noted there was no reason to reach out after he left Coach Prime and Colorado. Uh, Carmani McLean slammed by Colorado fans in profoundly laced tirade. You think you're bigger than the program. Uh, the McLean saga played out in front of a record audience last year. From a lack of consistency to being in Prime's doghouse, working his way back, and falling out of favor again, it was a struggle to watch from the outside looking in. So the guy had problems, and they were trying to work with him. Coach Prime was trying to, to work with him, to get him back where he needed to be. Apparently, it didn't work out, and that's why he jumped in the transfer portal. It says uh, Shador Sanders even mentioned after Colorado spring game how he felt relieved with the toxic app being gone due to players entering the transfer portal. Wow! Toxic atmosphere? So you mean to tell me it was real problems going on last season? Oh, yeah! God damn! It says here, he says, he didn't say anything specific about McLean, even though people are insinuating the situation with the, the defensive back likely spurred the comments. Colorado wrapped up a successful black and gold spring game this past weekend in Boulder with seven additions on the books. 
Uh, the turnout was less than expected given the snowy conditions at the edge of the flat irons. Nonetheless, it was a great start to Coach Prime's second season with the Buffs. But guys, anyway, and that's good. That's good info. Hopefully, uh, Coach Prime team will be ready this season with all the new additions and obviously teams, uh, players that have departed via the transfer portal will not have an impact on the program. But this Carmani McLean thing, again, guys, you know, I liken it to uh, uh, an experience that my cousin growing up in the South, they used to have what we call firecracker wars back in the day. Each side is just throwing fireworks at each other. But what happens when the most deadly firework you got in your arsenal blows up in your hand? Yeah, before you throw it. And that's what apparently has happened to uh, Carmani McLean. He was taking shots. He was throwing his, and it just blew up in his hand. So guys, again, like I said in my last video, we're going to wish uh, Carmody McLean the best, but it doesn't look good. And again, to the young athletes out there, save face. Take the high road on your way out of any program. Thank them. Let them know you appreciate the opportunity and move on. Less saying less is always better. Or don't say anything if you can, because then they, can't, they don't have anything to go off of. Other than you're in a transfer portal trying to find a new home. But guys, as always, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for, for the pull up. Let's talk with Corey. Let's talk with Corey out.